How to put a brush stroke inside type or text in Affinity Photo. First thing, go to View Menu and down to Assistant Manager. Make certain that Enable Assistant is turned on. Don't have to worry about any of these settings, just that needs to be on and then close. Once you've done that, go to the Brush Tools. Paint Brush Tool is a good one. Of course, you could use others. Paint Brush Tool, select a brush. Any of the brushes, I'm going to go with markers, set the size and also set the colour. I'm going with green in this case and then simply apply. And as soon as you do that, you'll notice what's happened. You've got the type has now been filled with a brush stroke, a pixel layer. That's all it's creating, a pixel layer. So you can change the colour. If you decide, you know what, I don't want green, well, I want to add, say, pink as well. You can add that and just simply add that and that will be added to the current pixel layer. What you can also do, because it's a pixel layer, you can go to filters and down to blur and Gaussian blur, any of the filters. So just apply and you can see you can then modify your brush stroke. Click apply and then you can continue to add additional brush strokes. It's a pixel layer, you can duplicate that. So right click and duplicate. So now you've got two, you can move them around. So just go over here to the move tool. So you've got that pixel layer selected, you can reposition it. Just move them back and forth, you can resize them. So you can see then you can create interesting brush stroke designs. You can also rotate and shear. Hold down the alter option key, and that's on the keyboard, and duplicate again. And now you will have another layer. They're all inside your type. If you decide, you know what? I don't want the word type. You can always go to the, there, back to the artistic text tool, and you can then select some of that type. So instead of type, I'm gonna put text. And you can see you've still got underline all those brush strokes. If you want to move things around, you can just reposition it, resize it, and that will resize the brush strokes as well. But you can also lock the children up here in the control bar. You can click that. And it needs the move tool be set on, lock children, and you've got text set there. And now what you can do, you can reposition that. And you'll notice what's happened. The underlying brush strokes are still in the same position, but you can move it around, reposition it. And you can also resize. And as you do that, again, you can still continue to move it around. You can also just simply click there again and you're back to the standard text and all of these. You can delete them as well. You can simply select a layer and you can just delete it. You can also recolor it, modify it in numerous different ways. Another option if you want. So I'm just gonna move that and let's create some more text. Type this time. So what you can also do is you can go over here and you can apply some brush strokes just to a layer. So let's just go here to the paint tool, paint brush tool and simply apply. You can see now it's above that type. So you can just apply it, just all kinds of different brush strokes, whatever you want. So once you've done that, it's just a layer. Just a layer, which you can then go to edit, and then you can go cut, or maybe copy if you want to keep it, obviously. Just cut, select the type, and then go to edit and paste inside. So paste inside, and there you have your brush stroke applied inside your type or text. And you can still move it around. You can do exactly the same as before. Right click and duplicate. And of course, there's probably other ways of doing this, but that's probably two great ways of adding brush strokes to your type or text in Affinity Photo. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.